you are a forex trader and you want to make a decent income out of it stick around and watch this video until the end we are going to cover what is forex trading then we'll go on to discuss how it actually works when we are talking of forex trading what is it that is going on and then we'll go on and discuss how you can profit from trading the forex market number four we will discuss the benefits of trading the forex market online number five the budget that you need to get started how much do you need so that you can get started on this journey of forex trading and lastly a bonus tip so stick around and watch this video until the end if you want to know this bonus tip all right so this is an introduction to forex trading and this is module one lesson one so what is forex i will say forex is generally the short term for foreign exchange and if we are to ask ourselves how does this actually work if you ever wanted to buy something in south africa maybe it might be an iphone from south africa and you have united states dollars you will find out that most of these shops in south africa they are accepting payment in the south african rand so you may have needed to exchange your us dollar for the south african rand so that you can be able to buy that iphone you want from a south african shop if so you have already participated in forex trading well forex is a bit more than just that for example we have got huge companies that buy goods from other countries if we are to look at it uh when these companies are buying these goods generally they buy goods in bulk they buy a huge number of goods but in order for them to buy these goods they should first exchange their local currency into that of that country that they want to buy the goods from so the difference between you and this company is that a company will exchange huge amounts if you were to exchange maybe just 1200 united states dollars to buy maybe an 11 in iphone 11 pro max maybe a company right will exchange somewhere around maybe a million dollars so that they can be able to buy not just maybe one iphone but maybe they will want to buy um more than maybe 10,000 iphones now with these companies exchanging these huge amounts they are going to move the price right this is determined by the law of supply and demand remember we say that when the demand increases price increases and when the demand decreases price decreases when the demand for the currents that they need right increases the price is also going to increase because remember we said when demand increases price increase also and with all these exchanges taking place the exchange rate will constantly fluctuate by the exchange rate i mean that the rate at which maybe if you are going to the bank and then maybe they tell you that for one united states dollars you are going to get 14 runs right this is an example right so that is the exchange rate right so with all these exchanges taking place and the companies exchanging huge amounts they are actually going to move the price significantly and alternately the exchange rate will constantly fluctuate this is how it actually works out right if you were to actually go deeper and break it down you will find out that when these currencies they are when these currencies are exchanged they have a certain price which is being called the exchange rate and as in any market you might think of the price of a currency is being determined by the law of supply and demand like i was telling you in the previous examples now if there are many people or companies that want to exchange the great britain pounds for example into united states dollars the price of the united states dollar will rise against that of the great britain pound of the get britain pound sorry and at the same time the exchange rate will change if we are to go back to our example where we were using the south african rand we'll find out when there are many companies that want to exchange the united states dollar into the south african rand 
the price of the South African rice rand will increase. Why? Because the demand for the South African rand is increasing, and the price of uh, and the price of it is going to increase against that of the United States dollars. And at the same time, the exchange rate will change. How can you actually profit from this constantly fluctuating exchange rate? Because remember, at some point in time, there are going to be many companies that want South African rand and the price of the South African rand is going to increase, right? But at some point, there are going to be companies that want United States dollars more uh, than they want the South African rand. And again, the price of the South African rand is going to decrease and the price of United States dollar increase. So you're going to find out during the day, you can find there are a lot of companies that are doing these exchanges and the exchange rate is not going to be constant. It's going to be constantly fluctuating. And this gives us a very huge opportunity for us to profit so how can you then actually profit from this constantly fluctuating exchange rate i want us to take an example or maybe an assumption let's say you live in britain and you want to go on holiday to the united states of america so if you live in britain you are using the great britain pound and in order for you to travel then in the united states of america you find that most of these shops or most of uh, companies that are selling things in the United States of America, they are accepting payment in United States dollars. But you have your pound. So what are you going to do? You are going to go to the bank, right, so that you can actually exchange your pounds into United States dollars before you go to United States of America. So suppose you exchange your maybe 200 pounds into US dollar at the exchange rate of one pound being equal to uh, one dollar fifty so in other words for those 200 pounds that you exchange you're going to end up with 300 united states dollars but if we are to look at it in this way that when you go to united states of america and you do not spend any money at all you just go there and then you come back to britain right and you don't spend any money at all now we are back in britain and they are accepting payment again in pounds you now want to exchange united states dollars back to pound but fortunately for you right when you come back you still have your 300 years dollars since you, you did not use any of it but fortunately for you the exchange rate has changed from one pound being equal to a dollar 50 to actually one pound being equal to a dollar 20. so instead of you getting back just 200 pounds you are going to get 250 pounds back why because the exchange rate is now is now changed so if we were to say 300 divided by 120 a dollar 20 right sorry 300 uh divided by uh a 120 right in order for us to find how many pounds you will get you're only going to find out that 300 usd you have is now going to um, become 250 pounds if my mathematics is correct now you have gained an extra 50 pounds simply from holding your money in United States dollars while the exchange rate changed, right? So this is, this is essentially how we are going to be trading the Forex market. We buy a certain amount of currency, we hold on to it while the exchange rate is changing, right? And then we exchange it back making money in the process right but how to decide when the right time is okay to either buy or sell is exactly what you need to learn now imagine traveling a lot going to united states of america coming back to britain uh, going back to united states of america exchanging your money is a bit time wasting and is, isn't really a practical approach to trading currencies but fortunately for us there is an easier way of doing it we can trade currencies online through exchange offices through online exchange offices that are called brokers in other ways they are an intermediate between the forex market and you so when you open a, an account if you are trading forex these these online exchange offices that are called brokers are going to facilitate that smooth flow such that you can actually trade forex from the comfort of your home with, with uh, from the comfort of your home sorry 
throughout the day and take advantage of the constantly fluctuating exchange rate right 24 hours a day uh seven seven days a week if you are maybe trading something like uh synthetic indices right but for forex trading right we, you are going to, to actually to trade 24 hours a day and then five days a week so just as in the example of you going on holidays you can actually buy different currencies and make profits as the exchange rate is changing from the comfort of your home all right so what are the benefits number one you can trade forex from the comfort of your home like i was saying or anyway as long as you have got an internet connection remember we said that these are online exchange offices so if it is online you need to have uh, maybe mobile data or maybe you're using wi-fi in other ways you just have to have an internet connection and you can be able to trade forex from the comfort of your home number two the forex market never sleeps it's open 24 hours a day so you can plan your trading around your daily job maybe you wake from 8 a.m to maybe 4 p.m right so maybe you can then do your trading from then maybe uh 6 p.m to maybe somewhere around 10 p.m right now like i said it's open 24 hours a day five days a week and so can suit your daily routine now the budget for you to get started I would say that you really don't need a huge budget uh, to get started. You'll find that there are some brokers like uh, Xness. I will leave a link in the description right of this video. You'll find that as little as one dollar, it is enough to make profits, right? Uh, but these profits, yes, uh, maybe you're making uh, cents, but still it's profit. If you're making one cent, it's still profit, right? But if you want to maybe make uh, something tangible, maybe you want to make a uh, maybe you want to make twenty dollars per day. Then obviously you can make twenty dollars a day from a dollar investment. That is common sense, right? However, you realize that uh, to make substantial profits, uh, maybe of making let's say a dollar per day, right? If that is comfortable with you, you find out that it is uh, highly um, maybe what can I say? It is highly recommended that you start with at least fifty dollars, right? So that you can get started and build your account over time now of course it will require some learning until you get it don't just wake up as a forex trader you really need to learn everything that you need to become a forex trader and this is what money downloader is here for to help you learn how to trade in a way that can suit your individual lifestyle and to help you navigate your way through the forex market we will try to cover all the essential aspects of foreign exchange trading or forex trading we will also try to help any novice trader acquire the necessary skills and knowledge that he or she needs to become a successful trader and you will learn how to identify number one trading opportunities how to control your emotions and when to take a profit or cut a loss now for the bonus tip that i promised you is supposed to say number six not number five so don't mind that <laughs> all right i strongly suggest that you do not begin forex trading until you have attended the forex course first generally you must always remember that long-term profitable forex trading requires both knowledge and hands-on experience to become a profitable trader you need to be well educated and well practiced and although it is very easy to start there are a number of significant risks involved in trading forex and so it is important to find out as much as possible about how the market works